Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we designed our sign up page, and after this, we created sign up reactive form with form fields and validations in our Angular application. And in today's video, we will create auth service, and after this, we will write the code to call our sign up API, and at the end, we will test our sign up API call as well. So, let's get started. And in our Angular application, first of all, we need to create auth service. And to do this, we will right click on our auth package and we will choose a new folder and we will name this folder as services. And after this, we will right click on our services folder and we will open it in integrated terminal. And in this terminal, we need to give the command to create a new service, which is ng g for generate s for service, and we will name this service as auth. And as you can see, our auth service is ready. Now let's open the services folder, and after this, we will open auth.service.ts. And in this service, first of all, we need to create a variable to store the basic URL of our backend application. And to do this, we will create a constant variable and we will name this as basic URL. And after this, we will set the value as HTTP localhost 8080 slash. And after this, in the constructor of the auth service, we need to inject HTTP client to make the HTTP API calls. So we will write private and we will name this as HTTP. And after this, we will write HTTP client. And we will import it from angular slash common slash http and after this we need to create a method to call our sign up api and we will name this method as register and in the params of this method we will accept the data and after this we need to mention the return type and we will give this as observable and we will import this from rxjs and after this for the type we will give this as any and after this, in the body of this register method, we will write a return statement and then we will use this dot HTTP. And after this, we will call post method because our signup API is type of post. And in the params of this method, first of all, we need to give the URL. So we will write basic URL. And after this, we need to concatenate the method URL. So we will use plus sign. And after this, for the method URL, we will give API slash auth slash sign up. And at the end, we need to pass the data. So we will write data. And with this, our register method is completed in the auth service. Now let's save this file. And after this, to fix the error on data, we will open tsconfig.js. And in this file, we will update the value of strict from true to false. And after this, we will save this file and we will open auth.service.ts. And as you can see, the error is gone. Now we need to write the code to call our register method from our signup component. So we will open signup.component.ts. And in this component, first of all, we need to inject the auth service. So in the constructor, we will write private. And after this, we will name this service as auth service. And then we will mention auth service and we will import it from services package and after this we will go in the submit form method and in the body of this method we will use our auth service and after this we will call register method and in the params of this method we need to pass the data for the sign up and we can get this data from our validate form so we will write this dot validate form and after this to get the values we will call dot value and after this, we will subscribe the response and we will name this as res and we will write an error function. And after this, to handle the errors, we will write error function as well. And in this error function, we will use ng message service and we will show the message as error dot error. And after this, we will go to the success case and we will again use ng message service and we will show the message as sign up successful. And after this, we need to redirect the user to the login route. So we will write this dot router. And after this, we will call a method navigate by URL. And after this, for the URL, we will give slash login. And with this, our code is completed to call the sign up API. And now we need to create this login route. So we will save this file. 
and after this we will right click on our auth folder and we will open this in integrated terminal and in this terminal we need to give the command to create the login component which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as login and as you can see our login component is ready now we need to create a route for this component and to do this we will open app.route.ts and in this file we will duplicate our existing register route and after this we need to update the path and we will replace this register with login and after this we need to update the component and we will replace this sign up component with login component and we will import this component from auth slash login and after this we will save this file and we will run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our sign up api call and in the browser we will click on this sign up button and as you can see we got redirected to the sign up page now we need to enter the data in this sign up form and for the email i will give this as root at the rate gmail.com and after this we need to give the password and i will give this as root as well and at the end we need to give the name and i will give the name as root and after this we will click on this register button and as you can see we got the message sign up successful and we got redirected to our login page and after this let's go back to our sign up component and in this sign up form let's add the email as root at the rate gmail.com again and after this for the password i will add root and at the end for the name i will give root as well and after this let's click on this register button and as you can see we got error message user already exists and now let's go to our mysql workbench to verify the new entry and in the mysql workbench we will open quiz server db and after this we will open the tables and we will open the data of user table and as you can see in the user table we got a new entry with the id 3 and for this record the email is root at the rate gmail.com the name is root and the password is root which we just gave and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create login api call in our spring boot application